Hello, I'm Gail Hankinson, and I serve on the board of Sustainable Tallahassee and as the chair of the Community Carbon Fund. And on this 50th anniversary of Earth Day and in the midst of a uh, global pandemic, I wanted to share with you my optimism for the future. I joined Sustainable Tallahassee and became involved with the Community Carbon Fund when I moved back to Tallahassee in 2018 because I wanted to do something tangible to address uh, the climate crisis that we are facing. Now I recognize that while we're in the middle of this pandemic and the economic havoc that it has wrought, the addressing the climate crisis is of less urgency. And at Sustainable Tallahassee, we have shifted many of our volunteer efforts to address the virus. We're helping to get food to those who need it. Our rags to bags volunteers are sewing face masks instead of reusable bags. Uh, we're doing what we can to help flatten the curve. But my optimism comes from this response that we are engaged in in addressing the uh, coronavirus because I think many of the uh, lessons that we are learning in addressing the coronavirus are applicable to our successfully addressing the climate crisis when we are able to return our attention to that matter. In the past few months, we have all become acutely aware how important accurate information is. Widespread testing is what's going to help us to beat this virus. Similarly, accurate data is what will drive our decision making as we address the climate change issues. We are also learning that taking early action can make a huge difference. The earlier we take action, the more impact that action will have on reducing the negative impacts of the crisis. Just like with the coronavirus, we need to flatten the curve of our CO2 emissions. On the graph that hopefully you can see now, this shows what the CO2 emissions have been in our atmosphere over the last 800,000 years. It's fluctuated between 170 parts per billion and 300 parts per billion. Only recently has it shot way up, as you can see on the graph. We are now over 400 parts per billion of CO2 in our atmosphere. Clearly, this is not a natural fluctuation. This is the result of our burning massive amounts of coal, gas, oil, fossil fuels that had been sequestered in underground. As we burned those energy sources, we released massive amounts of CO2 into the atmosphere. We need to flatten that curve and hopefully turn it so that it re returns to a downward path. Because we did not take action earlier, the impacts to our planet are going to be significant. But if we flatten the curve and turn it downwards, we will have a planet that we can adapt to. So, as you can see from this graph, this is a global problem and, and actions that we take in Tallahassee will have minimal impact on the global CO2 emissions. But I do think it's important that we try, that we undertake action, that we do something to address the climate change. And that's why I became involved in the Community Carbon Fund. So what is a Community Carbon Fund? Well, it is our effort here to reduce carbon emissions. What we do is we take donations and with those donations, we purchase uh, energy efficient retrofits that can be installed in facilities of no, uh, nonprofit organizations here in Tallahassee that, see, that, that serve low income populations. We install things like uh, uh, efficient lighting, uh, hot water heaters, uh, heat and air systems, insulation things that will immediately reduce the energy consumption of that facility. The nonprofit organization is able then to take more of its money to serve their clients rather than paying higher electric bills. But it also reduces their carbon emissions, reduces our carbon emissions 
in the Tallahassee area. If you would like to become involved with the Community Carbon Fund or donate to it, you can donate money to the Community Carbon Fund through the SustainableTallahassee.org. We do try to leverage any money we get by applying for grants, rebates, other incentives. We often ask for volunteer labor and we try to purchase equipment at cost. So your dollars really make a huge difference. Sustainable Tallahassee is a 501c3 charitable nonprofit organization, and we are dependent on contributions from our members and community donations. One of our methods of uh, raising funds is through in person events such as um, the Le Moyne Arts uh, Festival and uh, uh, Earth Day celebrations. Uh, We've not been able to have those types of gatherings this year, and so your donations are especially important this year. We'd urge you to consider becoming a sustaining member of Sustainable Tallahassee by going online and uh, committing to a recurring donation every month. That type of sustaining membership helps us to be able to focus on our projects uh, in the community rather than on fundraising. Thank you very much. I hope you will become involved with Sustainable Tallahassee and the Community Carbon Fund. Uh, stay safe and happy Earth Day 2020.